Greetings Ranger fans, Brian Montgomery here with Jesuit head coach Brandon Hickman. Another win for the Rangers here at Postel Stadium, this time against the Strake Jesuit Crusaders coach. First half, uh, what an outstanding opening two quarters uh, by the Jesuit Rangers squad. Pretty much everything went your way. You had what you wanted in the passing game, the running game defensively. What worked so well in that, in that opening half? Oh, I mean, we were able to run the ball, and I thought our defense played outstanding, uh, which set up some of our play action stuff offensively. Um, just played all around great game. I was very happy with the way the kids played. Um, going into the third quarter there, we got a big play action pass to Rusty. I thought that, that gave us a huge lead there, and we were able to put some twos in there and get some guys some reps. Yeah, and one, I guess one of the best parts about that initial half was the fact that Adam Holtz just has continued to be such a major contributor to this Jesuit offense. Hey, just talk a bit about how he has progressed so far this season. Has that been what you've been seeing in camp? Yeah, I mean, Adam's a tough kid. You know, he's, he's going to run hard, and he's got, he's got nice moves and a good little cut back there on, on, on a power here that he ran real big there in the first half. And he's just really developing as a running back. Uh, he sprained his knee last week and took a couple of days to, to get it healed up a little bit and then came out here and gutted it out and played a great game. Yeah, and then in that second half, straight Jesuit started to score a couple of touchdowns. But, I mean, the defense, you could tell everybody was still calm, cool, and collected. And when the plays had to be made late in the game, the squad made the plays that had to be you know, taken care of in, in such a crucial moment. Talk about how that defense remained calm through uh, through that kind of a rough patch there in the third and fourth. Yeah, I mean, you know, it really wasn't a rough patch. I mean, we had, we had our backup guys in there. We wanted everybody to play. Um, we were up 38 to nothing and wanted our kids to play. And then they started getting a couple – deep balls that they completed on us and scored a few and then we finally just put the starters back in late in the game to, to finish the game out but you know all of our kids contributed tonight and that's what it's all about and uh, even the kids that weren't playing the sidelines was, was unbelievable tonight and uh, I thought the kids had great energy and I'm very proud of all of them. And, and talk about that, the, the amazing energy that was here in the field tonight, an amazing emotional pregame ceremony uh, featuring and, and honoring uh, people that have sacrificed so much for our nation, especially on, on the day that is today, September 11th. Just talk about, uh, just I guess from, from your perspective, being here on the field, what it was like, you know, pregame. I mean, I, you know, it was unbelievable. Our kids were able to, captains went over and shook their hands, and I, I wanted to do that as well before the game, shake our first responders' hands and, and people that were actually in 9-11. Uh, it was very uh, touching and moving. And, you know, we had the, the, the shadows of the Twin Towers over here. Um, over at halftime there, we can see that with our team. And, and uh, just a very uh, moving week. Uh, you know, we had the, the ribbons on the back of the helmets. Uh, for the kids and, and uh, they, they wore that on the back with our American flag and then the camo pants tonight and it was a great tribute uh, to the people that were involved in 9-11 and we really appreciate them coming uh, tonight and uh, you know one of them actually gave me a, a, a uh, it looks like a pen, pen here pen it um, right right before kickoff there he gave this to me so I'm going to keep this and uh, really cherish this. Yeah, so now we mentioned it earlier on this week. I mean, the team, three really tough physical games. Today was another one of those physical contents. And, you know, the team, it's great to now know that you're going into a bye. You know, and then you're getting right into district play against Sunset. How are you going to approach this uh, this bye week and kind of what uh, what are the parts of the game that the Rangers are going to be working on? Uh, we're, we're, you know, we're going to approach it and get everybody healthy. You know, the first two weeks were very physical for us. We've had some kids that have been dinged up a little bit, and we're going we're gonna to get back on track condition the kids well um, but but stay healthy we're not going to no contact you know not hit at all we're going to actually give them a day off next week our seniors uh, which is special time for them they get to go on community days um, Tuesday through Thursday we'll get a good practice in Friday morning and then uh, you know I told the kids just a while ago get geared up for district uh, this is this is where the fun begins you know and, and we're looking forward to that all right, well, Coach, thank you so much again. The Jesuit Rangers picking up another win here at Postel Stadium against the Strake Jesuit Crusaders. And as always, Ranger fans, be sure to keep it locked into JesuitRangers.org for all of your up-to-date Rangers info.